me Kimberly and in today's tutorial I am going to show you how to turn any font into a metallic font in like 10 seconds. So now before I start this tutorial I'm going to tell you that I have been trying to figure out how to do this in Illustrator for forever, like years. And I've done a bazillion tutorials and it always sucked and I never could figure it out. And last night I was sitting in front of my computer working on a graphic for my website when it just hit me like a ton of bricks that I was trying to make this too damn complicated. And I figured out in five seconds how to do something that's taken me years to figure out. So I am going to share it with you because I really love and adore you and I want you to have this because it is so awesome. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to turn any font um, in any text into glitter words like you see right now. So I've got gold glitter words right here. So the first thing that you're going to need to do, and you could do this for free if you want, but I'm going to show you what I did because it only cost me a few bucks and it was really quick. I went to Etsy. And I searched for um, gold metallic digital paper. And when I searched for gold metallic digital paper, I just searched around for a few minutes until, oh gracious, it's going to ask me a bazillion things, until I found one that I, sorry about all that, I don't know why Chrome does that to me, but I just searched around for a little while until I found one that had like a really pretty gold shimmer in it. But of course, you can look around and just pick whatever one strikes your fancy. I can't even remember which one I bought when I did this, but I mean, it was just so stinking fun. So any of the ones that's got gold glitter, and um, it does not matter. It can be any of them. So just grab whichever one strikes you. Okay, I'm sorry. Once again, I'm dealing with that. Okay, so... Um, all right, so after you buy your digital paper, you're going to um, add it to your cart. You're going to unzip it, and what you'll be left with is something that looks like this, a digital paper in a preview size. So whatever size it comes in, it'll usually either be 8 by 10 or 12 by 12. So you're just going to take that image, and you're just going to um, copy it, and then you're going to go to Illustrator, so let me do away with this so we can start from the beginning. And you're going to do File, New, and you're going to make yourself an image that's like maybe 700 by 400 pixels or whatever size makes your heart happy. You're going to choose whatever font you want to do. So right now I'm going to click on the T for the Type Tool. And I'm going to choose my favorite font, which is the font that I use on my website, which is Carolina Pro Black. And I'm going to make it super big, like 100 pixels. We'll see how that goes. And then I'm just going to type my words that I want. I'm going to use my Selection Tool. And then I'm going to center my font. And I'm going to center it to the to the horizontal too. So I want to make sure it's in the middle of my paper. And you can see that it doesn't quite fit, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller by hitting character and maybe making it like 90 pixels instead of 100. Now this font is a font that has glyphs, so if your font has glyphs and you want to play around with the um, letters just to get them perfect, then by all means hit the glyph button and glyph away. That's why I like this font, because it has glyphs. So, um, okay, now I've got it set up like I like it. And then the next thing that there is to do, I'm going to go back and center it again because it moved a little. So I'm just going to do horizontal align center. Okay, so now you'll see this is a black font right now. So what I want to do next is I want to click on my font and I want to remove all of the color from my font. So it won't show up on your screen, but it's still there. See how if you hover, it's there. The next thing you do after that is you're going to paste your paper on screen. So you can do copy paste or you can um, just go in and open this file in a separate window and then copy it and paste it over to this window. So it's just a simple copy paste though. It's not a biggie. And it's going to take a second because I have way too much mess open on my computer right now. Okay, so now um, if I zoom out, so I'm going to zoom out so you can see. I've got a great big giant sheet of gold paper right smack in the middle of my little teeny tiny words. So I'm going to go up to the transform box. And if you don't see transform, you can go to window and then transform. It'll be right there. 
So I'm going to click on transform and I'm going to shrink this down to um, the same size as my box. So 700 pixels wide. You want it to match the width. And then you're going to just center that vertically and horizontally. The last thing you're going to do while it is still selected is choose object, arrange, and send to the back. Because you want the glitter paper to be at the back and your words to be in the front. Okay, so now is when all the fun stuff starts. You're going to um, select everything on the screen. So you can either do Command A on a Mac or you can just draw a box over it and everything will be selected. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And BAM! There it is. Your font with glitter words. You can do this with shapes. You can do it with words. You can do it with anything and everything. It'll work with every font as long as you remember to take the color out first. So there you have it. That is how to make glitter text in any font in five seconds. Like it really does not take hardly any time at all. The last thing that you want to do to make this usable so that when you change it and resize it, you want to select it all and hit object and then group. Group will make sure that when you resize it that it doesn't um, just resize the um, the font but it also resizes your clipping mask because if you don't do that when you start to play around with it you'll notice that parts of your font will start to be missing so make sure you do object group and there you have it the last thing you want to do is just do file and then you want to save it for the web if you're going to be using it online and um, always save it with um, your ping transparency checked and ping 24 and then you just do save and name it something like, I don't know, your name in glitter, doesn't matter. So name it whatever you want to make it. Sorry, my computer's running really slow today. I got too much open again. So um, I'm going to save this as Glitter Kim. <laughs> and I'm just going to hit save. And now you can embed this on your website. You can use it anywhere. You can use it in your copy. You can put it on Facebook. And then the very last thing to do after that is do file. Sorry, once again, kind of slow today. File um, and then save as so that you can also save this as an Adobe Illustrator file so that you can edit it and make changes to it. You can even type new letters. You can even change the font and it'll all still work. So I'm going to save this as Glitter Kim again. And there you have it. A great tutorial on how to make glitter font. Trust me, I've tried that for years. I've always tried to do it as like a gradient or a shading or something else. But literally five minutes or less, you've got glitter text. So have at it. And I hope you have a blast with this tutorial. And of course, you know, as a brilliant bootstrapper, you have the option to request custom tutorials. So if there's anything that you would like to see me do on Adobe Illustrator, um, I do MailChimp. I mean, just about every program. I don't show you how to build website stuff inside the Brilliant Bootstrapper, but anything that goes into branding or running your business, how to use SoundCloud. I mean, I can think of a million things, but just send me an email and I'll get back to you. So thanks and have a great day. Bye.